Welcome back to our channel. Coming up in our adventures exploring the Faroe Islands, like hell. we try out our like brand new lobster pot. Ooh. That one and a half hours. Take Bunk you on a walk to Lake Kvannavatn. I'm taking a bath. Catherine takes a skinny dip. And we sail on the Swiss Navy from Tverere to Torshaven with our friends from Altar of Down, Mark and Asha. 36 knots out there, so I'm gonna get used to that. And a huge thank you to Liv Nas, the most amazing Faroe singer and songwriter, for letting us use her beautiful music. Well, at the risk of filming myself committing some illegal fishing attempts, I cannot resist. Look what I got here. Here, I got a lobster pot. Here, I got some stinky fish heads from the fishmonger in Stornoway. I'm gonna stuff these into here and then lower this one behind Polaris on the pier and we'll see what we'll catch. So what is to be done is to open this back. I suppose it's gonna be smelly like hell. Like that. Ooh. Not to make too big of a mess. That's a bait in. So oh, smells terrible. Lock it. That's how it looks. Now uh, we're gonna dive. I will show you the catch of the day after our return from the hike. That's all more or less done. I do the washing up. Good morning. Welcome on the Faroe Islands. It's a beautiful day. Uh, apparently the locals told us it rains 330 days out of 360. Today is sunny so we're lucky that's one of the 30 that is not raining. We're on our first hike, one of the top five here, going to Kwanaki Lake. It's a round trip of probably about four hours uh, up the mountain and we're gonna see how it looks. It's a very nice start through this little wood here. There's not a lot of wood actually on this island, so that's uh, quite special here that we're going walking through a little forest even. Let's go! So our last walk up uh, the highest mountain on the Western Isles. I broke one of my sticks, so that's why I'm only walking with one. It's uh, something to get used to. But that's how it is. The houses here are wonderfully colored. All, all colors you could imagine. And uh, it gives this relatively rough uh, landscape quite some nice color dots as it's used up in the north. Very nice. And down in the fjord, you see Altar of Down and Polaris safely tied up to the wooden pier. Pause we're doing. So we walked up from here. That's where the boat is. We went down. We're on that way now here. And now it's up through the mount to that little lake. That's where we're going. And the difficulty is? The two out of four. And they say it's 4.2 kilometers and about one and a half hours both ways, they say. So we shall see. 210 meters up. Fine. Happy days for me. Not too heavy. Let's go. The path is very well marked. We have these little poles here marked in amber. 
about every 20 meters there is one which is very good but also probably shows that the weather can be quite harsh and you're not sure that you see 20 meters at times when you're up here we've been told that the weather can change in a second uh, particularly I think when it's not so good but today it shouldn't although we have a little bit of easterly wind which was not at all forecast today forecast was zero wind and it's actually a nice little breeze blowing so um, I don't know how reliable the weather forecasts are up here but uh, we take it as it is it's a lovely day and on we go tomorrow we plan to sail to Torshaven which is up in this direction and I've placed some waypoints just uh, around these islands it's a very small area but the currents in here the tidal currents are very fierce and they change every quarter of an hour so it's uh, it's really you need to be uh, very attentive and it's good to see that area actually how it how it looks uh, to give to give an impression uh, it's quite impressive these narrows and how the current will go in there find out tomorrow As rugged and rough the path is down here, the cliffs, look at this nice little water walking bridge across the boundaries of a sheep manor. Going in. Behind the next corner, it should be the next matching. Look at this jewel here, little lake, there's cliffs all around, mighty basalt sheet layers. They even do coal mining here, so there is obviously some basalt sheets that go over some sediments, some older sediments where coal could form uh, that could be mined here and uh, where the locals in earlier times relate massively for their energy. I'm taking a bath. I think it's the it's the one the one moment that you have to live. You have to go right now. And she's not. <laughs> so that's the lake. It is nice. There's a little pebble strand. Catherine gets ready to immerse herself in that little lake. She's nuts. <laughs> and that was it. So Catherine, how was your morning ball? Amazing. Amazing, erfrischend, super. Man spürt sich. Ah, einfach, einfach. Man lebt, das ist gut. Das Leben ist gut. Genau. <laughs>
She's not. And as soon as <laughs> Catherine is out of the water, we get some visitors. I think you were lucky. As a geologist, I... Yes, you heard right. And stop laughing, mates. I'm a geologist by training that became a banker and recently morphed into a sailor and boat engineer. I just have to point this out. These are all these basaltic rocks, these six hexagonal corner shaped shapes here. That's basalt columns that are coming out like that. So Well, scrambling this steep and rocky gorge was definitely not ad advertised. And once again, Catherine tricked the acrophobic in me into a precarious situation. Whilst I saw it as a to and fro walk, she had a round trip through the cliffs in her mind. Nearly there. to lift the pot. So, putting on my little protective glow gloves to see what we have in our crab pot. Or lobster pot. But I think it's full of crabs. Non edible ones. Not nice ones. We'll see. So what do we have here? Just crabs. Oh, and a few. Oh, that's quite a lot. Mail. That's Our nice. old friends, Mark and Asha, have sailed their boat, Altar of Down, up the east coast of the United Kingdom and arrived in Suderoy just a few hours behind us. Yeah, but quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Too small. Are they edible? Small, small spider crab, female. <laughs> Too small. And in true style of the very John Locker, also known as Fish Locker, we proceed to the examination of a Male. catch. Too small. That's a micro male. No, no it's a male. I think it's a male. Many, huh? Good morning, it's uh, Friday the 2nd of July in 23. It's 20 minutes to 6 and uh, in the morning and uh, today we plan to sail from Tverri, Tverre, Tverre, how is it? Tverre, now I got it, to uh, Torshavn. That's uh, 34 nautical miles. Um, the weather seems to be okay and seems to stay okay with not a lot of wind. That's what we uh, expect, but we shall see. Um, we have on the back our friends from all Tor of Down. They help us slipping the lines because when it when there is a gust, it will be blowing blowing us onto the pier. So that's happy helping us to take the lines off. <laughs> In Polaris, here we are, 2nd of June, tall sound bound. And what happens on the 2nd of June? Captain's birthday! There you go. <laughs> Happy Cap birthday! Thank you very much. Captain's birthday. There you are. So, as an early start today, the alarm went off at 4 and we're pushing off to get the tide up to tall sound with our friends Daniel and Catherine, the Swiss Navy. Under a British flag though, of course, to maintain the illusion of Swiss neutrality.
latest report, we're on the way. We're 30, 45 minutes into our journey. We're just crossing the first little straight and uh, there's virtually no tide going in. That was within the calculations. Um, if you look out here, you see the fog, the mist coming in in the morning. So uh, it's a calm day, it's quite humid. And uh, there's an odd, old swell in the water, so there's no wind at all. Sometimes 10 knots, sometimes 5, but certainly not enough to sail. So um, and we got to stick to our plan, because otherwise the tide will turn unfavorable to us. So we need to just uh, go and, and do our 6 knots plus into Torshavn. Back to 27 knots, all of a sudden, very quick change. The sun is coming out on this side, on the other side where the weather is coming from, there's still visibility is not too good and I think it's just uh, this front or whatever it is that passes that brings this wind. But it's quite ferocious, 27, 28 knots. All door, all door, all door, this is Polaris over. All fine, uh, just a wee warning, uh, where we are at the moment is gusting, no it's actually not gusting, it's blowing 28 knots, just in case um, you have any sails up over. Oh, thank you very much indeed for that, we've uh, we enjoyed a little bit of uh, jet and then the wind went on the nose, so we're just motoring down. Okay, so uh, it's just that we're at the entrance between the two islands and it's by the blowing a hoolie there, over. Lovely, thank you very much for this last morning. Um, it's sort of closed in, visibility quite, hasn't it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's slightly better up here on the on the east side, but uh, the west side of the island, the, the, the main island, we can't see anything. Yeah, well, we're, uh, we're plodding along. I think we're a few miles behind you, um, but uh, yeah, starting to get through the main sort of flow here. Uh, we're tucking around the whole side behind you. Okay, we'll stand by on 6-9. Perfect. We're inbound uh, from uh, Tverary and uh, we'd like to uh, enter your harbour and uh, take a berth for a couple of days, if that's possible. Uh, could we have permission to enter the harbour and could you give us berthing instructions when suitable, please? Over. I cannot give you any parking instructions. So you can enter the park and you can go to the marina and have a look. And it looks like there's some uh, birds available now. That's perfect. Uh, so are we cleared to enter the harbor when we arrive, or do you want the report when we're closer in over? No, just you can just enter when you arrive. But uh, beware of the traffic. Huh? There's very very heavy traffic in this port. We will be beware. Yes. How is the visibility over? It's good. It's good. Perfect, thank you very much. That's Polaris standing by on channel 12. The wind has come down now again. We're down at uh, a force 4, 15 knots at the moment. Uh, before it was just 6 knots. The highest gust we had was 36 knots out there. So, so uh, it's just uh, amazing how quickly the wind changes and the weather changes here. But uh, we'll get used to that. Join us next time when we sail to Hestur, explore this small island and take Polaris to visit the largest sea caves in the world. If you enjoy this video, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel, press the notification button and leave a comment down below. Subscribing to YouTube is free and dead easy. Just register a YouTube account and sign in. Thank you very much for your support.